Akkuiti a mitától a Vice-Station of Republic of Ghana, Honorable Minister of Road and Transport, Alagi Sulema, Minister Miri Sonna, Deputy uh, Governor of the Central Bank of the Bank of Ghana, members of the Diplomatic Corps, my colleagues from the IFC and the World Bank, Mary Jean Morio, a senior country manager, and my colleague Yusuf Akuk, who is uh, the World Bank country director, or a protocol observer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to be here today to inaugurate the new World Bank Group office in Accra with such support from the government, our partners, clients, and friends. It is fitting that we are opening an office here at this time and in this place. The time is right for the renewed energy for IFC that this new represents um, this new office represents for us and the World Bank in Ghana. Ghana is the African nation that was at the forefront of colonial independence more than half a century ago and is today at the forefront of the African economic renaissance. Africa is turning heads around the world while developed countries still find their footing after the devastating crisis and emerging markets in other parts of the world face new challenges after years of solid growth. African economies where sound policies and improving governance have taken hold are reaping great dividends that are improving life. life. Ghana is leading the way. Ghana's growth in the first decade of this uh, century averaged more than 6%. Today, that growth is even higher and expected to continue. Ghana has encouraged an improving policy environment where the government is upgrading its services and making its institutions more accountable and making the economy a place where local business people and other investors want to do more, creating jobs, opportunities, and a better life for Ghanaians. The time is right to send a signal that the World Bank Group supports the stability that Ghana has achieved. There have been ten, ten times in recent years where Ghana's success might have been stopped in its tracks. Instead, Ghana has become a beacon of hope for the rest of the continent that competitive politics and stability can exist side by side. That transfers of power can be peaceful and productive that sound policies and private investment are a critical part of the solution, of the solution to Africa's development challenges and that Africa's rise will not be derailed easily. The World Bank Group has been a partner throughout the development process with Ghana. The World Bank has provided more than $8 billion in funding to help the government deliver services and build institutions. IFC has provided private sector investment of more than $2 billion, a significant portion of which within the past two fiscal years. This is just the beginning. Like most of Africa, Ghana has been catching up. The legacy of decades of poverty are still too real. As Ghana graduates to middle income status, the stakes become higher and the challenge is greater. Complacency could easily become Ghana's worst enemy. Ghana needs to draw on the global capacity, knowledge and expertise that the World Bank Group offers. As the country attempts to tackle the service needs of a rapidly urbanizing population, the World Bank will be there for you as you need to bring in increasingly larger investments to transform your economy for a young population. IFC and MIGA will help ensure that private investments are made to the highest standards. This is a time of change at the World Bank Group. World Bank Group President Jim Kim has committed the World Bank Group to 
to a new court which so clearly they have been simple and straightforward but they are more complex than that. Those two clear goals, ending extreme poverty and promoting shared prosperity. There is a lot of work going on to make sure the whole of the World Bank Group is fully aligned around these goals. So the time for increased collaboration for IFC, MIGA and the World Bank is now. And the Joint Office will help our staff to judge that. I spoke about the importance of this place. This place here in Ghana is fitting to celebrate Africa's progress. This new World Bank Group office puts a stake in the ground, saying, as my colleague Yusufa was, uh, was mentioning earlier, that we are here for Ghana for the long term. This location in the region Independence Avenue is fitting for our future ambitions. We hope to be an important resource to Ghana's government and businesses and at the center of helping you meeting critical needs in the years ahead. I hope that this central location and coming together of our teams sends the signal that we are here to stay and more engaged in Ghana's future than ever. This place also reflects important values of the World Bank Group. This building reflects our respect for Ghana and sustainable environment stewardship. It features green building techniques, water harvesting, use of natural light, cultural and disabled person features. We have even preserved this decade old tree in front of it. It's a beautiful tree. Allow me to acknowledge the hard work that went into making today possible. First, to the government of Ghana for their ongoing support. Your Excellency, we are grateful to you and your colleagues throughout the government. We look forward to a continued strong relationship. To the teams around across the World Bank Group that have supported this effort to build this office and collaborate more closely. To the IFC team that has overseen this project for the past several years. Um, Mary Jean Moyo, uh, Madame Moyo, who is here of course, but she also mentioned how colleague Imonia Pupure was at the beginning to them and all of the others involved in this. To our World Bank colleagues who are our partners in this project, let me acknowledge our many clients, donors and other friends who are here today. I have seen success in Africa owes to our many partners in the public and private sector. We thank you for your support, your willingness to do more in Africa, to work with IFC, the World Bank and MIGA to sponsor critical development projects. This office and the continued success of our efforts in Ghana and beyond are a tribute to all of you. And I thank you for your continued partnerships on behalf of the entire World Bank Group. After many years of very high growth as IFC in Ghana and Africa, indeed, I would say if I talk about Africa, in 2000, uh, 2003, IFC was investing $140 million for the fiscal year. Fiscal year 2013, we have invested in Africa $5.3 billion. And in Ghana, we used to do barely $100, $100 million a year in great years. Over the past two years, we have invested over $2 billion in Ghana alone. I'm mean, sorry, I said to be a $1.2 billion in Ghana alone. So I was saying that after many years of very high growth in Ghana and Africa, we have become accustomed to saying that the best is yet to come for this continent. Looking out at all of our incredible friends and partners today, I know that this is true. We look forward to making the most of this time in Africa and this place that we are inaugurating today. To do more for development in Africa so that the best days for the people in Africa, of Africa, okay, will surely lie ahead.
Thank you. Thank you very much, Monsieur.